U.S. leaders are pledging support for Israel, but the war comes after a stunning week in Washington. WGN's Gaynor Hall looks at the battle for House Speaker. What brought Kevin McCarthy down, first of all, is he made a number of promises to a number of different groups. Um, and when the time came, uh, the continuing resolution, he could not deliver on those promises. The Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy on the Sunday morning talk shows defending the decision that highlighted divisions in their party, leading to the first removal of a House speaker in U.S. history. House Republicans need to unite and show the country that we're fighting for them. Congressman Jim Jordan and Steve Scalise are running for the job. Both voted against certifying the 2020 election results. Jordan was endorsed by former President Trump and former Representative Liz Cheney, who served on the January 6th committee, warned if Jordan is chosen, Republicans can't be counted on to defend the Constitution. I think we're actually going to come together uh, quite soon. I think we've got two great choices, and I think that you're going to really see an invigorated Republican Party. We were in the doldrums with Kevin McCarthy. I believe we need to be swift with it. I, I have spoken mm -hmm. to both of them. Um, they are committed to bringing our party together and unifying and not uh, continuing the division that we have. The drama surrounding the speaker's chair comes as war is raging in Ukraine and now Israel, limiting the House's ability to quickly pass emergency measures if needed. And domestically, the new deadline to avoid a government shutdown is coming up in November. Democrats provided the votes uh, to pass the continuing resolution to fund government. Uh, Democrats are the ones leading here. Uh, this is a Republican uh, House conference who has an inability to govern and to lead. That it's time for the GOP to end the Republican civil war in order for us to be able to come together in an enlightened and bipartisan way to get things done for everyday Americans. GOP leaders signaling in the coming days they'll work behind closed doors in an effort to get majority agreement on one candidate and avoid a repeat of the 15 rounds of voting it took for McCarthy to become speaker. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.